close to him. Ah, now that's better. I don't have to listen to that nasty sound. I was wondering how to get out of that soundtrack thing. Wow. <laughs> well, praise God. Welcome to the Cyber Bible Gospel Network. I'm Pastor Lane, and it's great to have you this Palm Sunday. Ah, we have sound. <laughs> okay, we've got sound and uh, <laughs> just checking all these things, making sure that we are in sync here. Well, there's a picture of me smiling, and that's what I like to do is smile. Welcome uh, to the Cyber Bible. Actually, welcome to the Church of Philadelphia uh, worldwide. I'm the pastor of this church that goes out uh, to a local worldwide net, internet, and the people can gather together living stones and we together worship God in Jesus' name together. And uh, before we, uh, I don't have uh, the luxury of looking at you, so if you get, I don't even know who I'm talking to, but I know that by faith, God's word does not come back void. It does not come back void. I claim that. And so some people like to have the advantage of looking at people to see if their message is uh, penetrating uh, the listener. <laughs> so uh, I really uh, don't have that luxury, but I know that by faith, evidence not seemed and hoped for that your, his word is not going to, God's word is not going to go out. I mean, not going to go out. Whoa, is going to go out. Excuse me. <laughs> is going to go out. Okay. So uh, we're going to pray right now before we go into our uh, discussion today of Ephesians 3, 14 through 19. Uh, it's going to be an exciting day, and uh, but I again I wish you a happy uh, Palm Sunday uh, before Easter. Uh, after Easter Sunday, I will be in Columbus, so you pray for me. I'm going to what is called the largest pastors gathering in the United States, the Pastors Appreciation Prayer Breakfast. And it should be a good time. And I'm going to have highlights and possibly have the speaker recorded so that I can impart it to you what I am learning. I don't like to hide anything from uh, the body here at our local church. And uh, it's very important, you know. Okay, enough of this uh, formality. I hope that people are still praying for Dennis Sienna's uh, father down in Louisiana. I'm still thinking about your uh, father, uh, stepfather, Dennis, who is in a terrible uh, motorcycle accident, and uh, he's paralyzed from the neck down, and that's just a horrible thing. Uh, they took my father to the hospital the other day. He had hit his head. And we, doctor says he's fine. He didn't need any stitches. And he will be 89 this May. Wow. And uh, I'm glad to have both my parents alive. And on top of that, having them as believers in Jesus. Okay. Well, if you have a prayer request or anything like that, send it to me and I'll present the church. A brother in uh, Kenya is uh needs prayer and um oh my goodness i forgot to put my space on here too uh so anyways uh i'll get that later uh anyways i've got to get the uh, oh next sunday before i start here i'm going to talk about a very very important that'll be easter sunrise service um 
at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Yes, it will be on 6 a.m. Eastern Time. So that should be very, very exciting. I want to be punctual on that. I hope you'll have a great time um, in, in, in that. It's just a, it's going to be fantastic. God's giving, seems like God's giving me, um, you know, pray about it. You pray about it. Make sure it's, it's, it's going to be right. It's called Judas Iscariot. The sermon will be Judas Iscariot. And we're going to look at uh, some aspects that maybe we overlooked about uh, Judas Iscariot. That maybe we, it has, it's been talked about in pocket groups. So what's new under the sun? God knows about it. But it, it's something I think many more could, how do I say it? be enlightened on by way of and I have faith the Holy Spirit and and discern it very careful carefully uh, listen pray uh, think and then discern I want you to be an LPTD yeah. listen pray think and discern a prayer you have to have. Ask God's will in Jesus' name. And many people want to do listen, think, and discern. Well, that's that's good, but I think listen, pray, and discern is much better. <laughs> uh, much better. And, and you have that insurance policy activated and the essence, the manifestation of the, the enlightenment of the Holy Spirit will come out for sure by faith evidence not seen and hoped for. Okay, let's go to prayer. And, you know, I'm going to be doing Ephesians 3, 14 through 19. And I'm going to read it right now. So, and then we're going to go, we're going to we listen, pray, think, and discern. Be an LPTD. Listen, pray, think, and discern. Okay, and I'm sure the person who invented that, listen, think, and discern. I know the guy, and it's a fantastic phrase, uh, praise, always. Uh, I know the guy personally, and I'm sure that he implies that. But I am going to make sure literally that listen, pray, think, and discern. Because uh, we're talking, I, I, you know, um, I don't know what level you are on out there in the Christian faith, and also to friends of Christianity, welcome to our church, and we hope today will be the most important decision you'll make in your life, too, so I, I've got you in my mind, too, <laughs> so uh, Ephesians 3, 14 through 19, after we pray, and let's go to prayer right now. Father God, I pray in Jesus' name today that you'll speak to many hearts and share the love of Jesus, the height, depth, and width of love, uh, breath of Jesus Christ. I pray that, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. And actually, ladies and gentlemen, I would be remiss if I didn't incorporate with Ephesians 3, 14 through 19 is the uh, verse... John 15, 13. Greater love hath no man than this, than that a man lay down his life for his friends. Romans 12, 1. And, but that wasn't the one I really wanted to stress. Uh, wow. Where is that, Lord? Mm. Ah, John 15, 13. Greater Love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Romans 12, 1. Uh, that's the really ultimate. The attitude when we do anything in the works of Jesus Christ. That, that's that, that, that's got to be reflected. So, anyways, uh, let's go here. And proceed. I really thank my my mother, who is a, now a believer in Jesus. 
I get a lot I get feedback from her sometimes I don't always listen and I'm glad I did today because I don't want to for you to be confused so and and, and I have I have I have all the verses I've given today uh, I want to go over that first before I'm going to focus on the three types of love to really get because some of you are friends of the faith and need to know this to really grasp where I'm coming from and I'm trusting the Holy Spirit to fill in the pockets here but first let's let's go over the general verses but um, I want to focus which I, I apologize I just didn't get it in in one page is, is John uh, 21 15 through 17 but here is what I I have uh, given and I hope you like it and I'm not sure about the time on this I'm showing you all the verses I'm going to be using but one I didn't include was John 21 15 through 17 write that down look at in look in your Bibles I'm sorry I didn't get that down in time. John 21, 15 through 17, okay? You can stop the tape and write that down. John 21, 15 through 17. Look at it. You can pause because this will be on YouTube. Okay, I put this in here, and I want to thank the folks of Blue Letter Bible uh, and also Bible Gateway. They're wonderful references to use for my sermon today. Uh, blue letter Bible and I use the King James Version because other ones have copyright so I can't use them so if I've offended you I apologize uh, I consider the King James very powerful uh, for preaching okay uh, and I put these two blue letter Bible references to all the verses that I presented you here in this is backed up by the blue letter Bible as a derivative of agape love that one is agapeo and agape it's based it's sacrificial love sacrificial love okay i'm going to uh i don't know how long i've been on here but i want to get it on youtube so i'm going to do another part two so uh, oh it, it does give me a kind of a reference here but i'm going to cut it off right now okay stay by i'm going to come with part two of uh, Ephesians 3, 14 through 19.